Well, what we have is two different courses, Chemistry of the Environment, and we have a Statistical Math course. And what we've done is combined them and used the theme of forensics. Jean and I built a staged crime scene in Seeger's Union and put police tape across it and everything and invited people to watch. And they had to go there sight unseen, and of course we had to, we had to build it ahead of time. The idea was that a bald eagle had been killed, and this is a federal crime, and uh, who done it? Certainly the idea was to show some of the connections between chemistry and mathematics. Uh, also to take those concepts and apply them. So to develop some of their critical thinking skills, their computational thinking skills, to take it beyond the classroom and take the information that they have and then interpret it, imply it in, in a way that, that makes sense. Being able to solve an equation, being able to integrate, differentiate, being able to conduct a statistical test is only a portion of what goes into the process of developing critical thinking skills. Science is not about certainty. It's about the management of uncertainty. Yeah. To be able to turn them into independent thinkers as well as independent learners where they can convince themselves that they've got the correct answer where we are no longer necessary or needed to confirm that, that, I think, is, for me, that was the ultimate goal.